Welcome to our channel. For the last six and a half years, we've been sailing the world. But recently, we settled down here in south of Sweden, where we bought Sunhill Farm. And here we're going to build our next boat. It's going to be a 50 foot long cutter rig sailboat built from timber. In today's video, we're going to show you how we went from this to this to that. We've started working on the temporary hull frames. And in a previous episode, we went through the work process and talked about the handheld CNC router that we're using for this job. Since that video, Johan has been working hard on the frames and it's going easier and easier to cut out the pieces and to use the Shaper CNC router. There are 22 frames to be made, so there is a ton of work. After cutting out the pieces in plywood, Johan uses the biscuit machine to be able to attach the pieces to each other. He glues all the pieces together and assemble them and now the raw frame layout is ready. Johan places out the shaper tape so that the CNC router can scan the workpiece. Then it's time to scan. Taking some control measurements. And finally cut the workpiece with the CNC router. Johan removes the tape and the loose plywood, and then attaches some additional plywood for stability. Then he adds the support stands. Moving on to the next one. So I'm now four days into uh, producing these temporary molds for the boat build and so far I have made seven of them. Uh, I'm going to build number eight today um, and like some of you pointed out in the last video I was a bit uh, <laughs> too positive maybe on the speed that I can produce this. So far I've been able to do around two a day. Um, so I hope uh, I can make all of them within 10, 11 days. So a bit more than a week, like I said in the last video. But still okay, I think. Um, the accuracy on all of these pieces that I've been making has been really good. All of them are within one to two millimeters um, of accuracy over the total width. So that's really nice. One thing that has made this whole thing taking a bit more time is that the table isn't perfectly flat in between the wooden beams underneath here. So the plywood is sagging a bit in between. 
And because of that, I have been uh, have to make measurements on every piece to make sure that it's perfectly flat and coplanar, and to put some small, thin wooden pieces underneath uh, every piece that I've been scanning and cutting here. And that has taken quite some time to make those measurements. Um, so I've been trying to figure out a way to make this table more flat. And what I will do is to uh, put on some liquid concrete. I don't know what it's called in uh, English. In Swedish it's called the flytsbackel. So I have taped up all the holes and all the, everything here on the table because it's really runny, this stuff. So if there's a hole, it will run straight through. And I will also put on some edges here and uh, seal those. And then I will pour in this liquid concrete. And um, in theory, it should be totally level and flat after that. And it will be dry in about three or four hours. So hopefully I can produce uh, mold number eight tonight. I've also put in some extra legs under here to cope with the extra weight. Uh, it's not a lot, it's uh, around 60 kilos, uh, this concrete, but that's spread out over this whole surface, uh, so it's, it's not a lot. Yeah, I can add to that as well that this concrete has some uh, fibers in it, so it's a bit reinforced, but of course, pouring concrete on uh, thin sheets of plywood like this is not ideal, but uh, I think it will be okay. At least a lot better than it is right now. Uh, the snow really came and went fast. It only lasted for uh, two days, I think it was. And then it started to rain and it was just, now it's gone. At least the deer out there, they seem to be happy with <laughs> less snow. They're grazing on the farmer's crop now. They've been doing it for the last couple of days. There's quite many of them. There's a small herd. The most I've seen at the same time is around 15 animals. So the edges are on and now I just need to make sure that there is no holes or leaks in this because then this liquid concrete will just go straight through. And then I will mix the concrete and just pour it in here. And hopefully this will go according to plan. <laughs> Sadly, the mic didn't cooperate here, but what Yuan is explaining is that the self-leveling cement turned out exactly as we wanted. The table is much more even and flat now. So I've been trying out the new table now for two temporary molds and I have to say this upgrade that I did on the table, it has really paid off because now the table is a lot more flat and a lot more rigid. And that's a huge benefit when you're using a tool like the Shaper Origin because it really needs to have a flat surface when it does the scan of your workpiece because otherwise it won't come out exactly uh, to the measurements that you want it to be. <laughs> the only downside, I think, of uh, using this uh, liquid uh, cement or self-leveling cement on the table is that maybe I can't use the thin 12 millimeter plywood that I have beneath that cement now, but 
that's a small price for the speed I will gain now uh, producing the last or the rest of these uh, temporary molds. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's just so cool that the boat is kind of taking shape yeah. right now. <laughs> we have eight frames here. How long have you been working with these? Are there, we actually almost have ten. Yeah, number nine is on the table and number ten is over there already finished. So I'll finish off this today and that means that today we will be halfway with these. Um, there's 22 but these are a lot bigger than the rest that mm. we're going to do. And from now on they're only going to get smaller yeah. and smaller. Smaller and smaller. So the widest one was number 7, um, this one in here. Uh, that's uh, 4,230 uh, 4, millimeters. And uh, yeah, of course in the bow there will be some really narrow ones. Um, so it should only get easier now and I put in around seven days of work to produce these. Uh, so <laughs> a bit more than I first said in the last week's episode. But still pretty fast I think. And uh, But I it's also like you don't work, it hasn't been seven days in a row no, because we no. do other things yeah. and in the weekends we try to <coughs> spend time with just us, the family or meeting friends or the rest of our family. Yeah. So it's um, the, word, the weekdays, we sh it should be ready before Christmas. Definitely. Should we have that as a goal? No, I mean it should be ready next week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, but before Christmas, that's maybe a good, um, good goal. Yeah. Because then it will be so cool to have all of them stacked up like this. Because when you look at the side here, you actually get a feel like this is like a, what do you call it? A dragspel, right? The base. Accordion. Yeah, an accordion. It's like the whole boat is yeah. compressed like stacked up against the wall here. You can really see the shape and then it will be so cool to you know, stack them up in the right position later on. So the next job after the, all the temporary frames are finished will be to then place them out on the floor here in the barn and yeah. then mount them or really fixate them to <coughs> the floor. Yeah, not directly to the floor. I will build a, build a, a strong back that, will, that I will place the feet uh, from these temporary frames on that strong back because I need something that is really rigid and flat and in level uh, this way and also sideways. So I will build something out of the timber I think uh, that also later on can be converted to a type of uh, wagon that I can put wheels on it so I can roll the boat out of here when it's time to turn the hull over. Mm. Um, so there will be some thinking into that, how I will actually produce that uh, strong back. Mm -hmm. So placing out the temporary frames will take not that much time uh, and then... Uh, I actually yeah. think it will to take a lot of time to do that because it's going to be it has to be so accurate when you place exact. out exact uh, when you place out these temporary molds. They need to be exactly vertical. They have to be exactly uh, in this direction, and also the height of all of them. Uh, the warp line needs to be in an exact level on all of them. So I'm going to use lasers for that and uh, a lot of different, um, yeah. Um, it's going to be a lot of work to do that, so I, I would say it will take at least a week or if not two weeks to, to do that work. Because yeah, probably then three. <laughs> or four. <laughs> but, but anyway, like we're talking about all these different types of jobs in this process and I mean it's such a long process of building a, uh, a complete boat. And we know it might be difficult to 
envision like how how big is this job that you're working on now yeah. is it a few weeks or is it a couple of months because some of the jobs will be a couple of months and like we've never built a boat before i know you're you have much more knowledge but for me sometimes when we talk about some of these different type of uh, proceed or jobs in the process like um, are we how long is that gonna take <laughs> so we were thinking of maybe doing a video or part of a video where we sit down and try to make like a timeline uh, yeah, digital and to show you just like the big things and a little bit of how long uh, yeah, the big they will take the whole process and... yeah at least starting with the hull yeah um, but and also the different steps, because I know sometimes it's maybe hard to to see what is he doing now, what are these for, and uh, what's the next step uh, with these. Uh, so I think we're going to make a video and talk more about that. But I think we've said, like, just to give you an idea, like um, we hope to be in less than a year, maybe after next summer, yeah. be ready with the the hull. So that means that we're then going to open up um, this wall here, take out the bolt and turn it over on the right side and yep. bring it back in and back start in with the next big phase. Yep. So that should give you a little bit of an idea of where we are and how things, how long things take. Yeah. So that's it for this week, uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy our videos and channel, we would really love to have you joining our Patreon crew. Yes. I'm getting really cold now. Yeah, it's kind of cold. Get inside. Yeah. See, See you next, next week. week. Bye bye.